Welcome back, soldiers, to our next episode of our Death Core of Krieg playthrough. We have some, uh... We have some housekeeping to do. I want you guys to check in the description down below. You can find the mod pack that I am currently using uh, on Steam. Where's uh, mod, mod options? List everything in the mod pack. I think you can click one button, subscribe all, and you'll get everything. And in that description on Steam, you can find the load order that I use um, to film the videos, play the game. Uh, there, I have disclaimer, there will be a, an error <clears throat> when you load all the mods in the order that I have written. Um, but everything still works. The game still loads. So don't sweat it. Um, I've since added the MIM, uh, 40K mod pack and texture pack. When you do that, so, so I didn't have that originally, uh, loaded up when we started this game out. So the world came out fine. What is this? Oh, that's a cool. Okay. So it replaced that symbol for the cadence. Um, when you do it with that mod pack, I believe you can find it in the comments of the mod itself from the author. Uh, I think you will, the best way to do it is create a world back out and then create a world again. And like, cause if you create a world the first time, you won't get enough factions or you'll get like no factions on your planet. Um, but then you back out and you do it again. And I believe factions will spawn there. I may be mistaken. I will do a little playing around, but that also, I believe updated. I think a lot of textures. I don't know if it's those ones. Some of the Warhammer 40k textures definitely got updated. I know enemies like armor and stuff like that. A bunch of stuff got updated with that. And it adds like a bunch of new factions and images and, and things. Um, yeah, like this. This was something. This image was something else. Um, yeah. So check that out, guys. Welcome all you new folks that have recently subscribed to the channel. We've got a inf big influx of new people checking out the videos. Definitely check out the older series that I've done in the past. They've been a ton of fun. I know it's been 1.3, but definitely check out the Orcs playthroughs. Those have been hilarious, to say the least. And um, what else was good? Fabius Bile one was pretty good. We're going to hopefully get back to Fabius Bile, especially with all the new genetic stuff. Look at all these, look at all these boys cleaning up here. All right, is this hooked up or no? No, it's missing a key component. Uh, That is fine. That's fine the way it runs. All right, good. Hook that up so we can start saving up the batteries. Wait, did they remove? No, no, no. Okay. I was going to say, they didn't remove their skulls. That's just how they degreed. Yeah, so someone mentioned in the comments. Oh, well, the other thing was, guys, yes, I know. I, um, apologies for the audio in the first episode. I know that I have since lowered this. This was at 70. No, this was at, yeah, this is at 70%. Which is what I've always had it at. Uh, I'll leave it at, uh, I'll leave it at. 40 uh in all my past videos and i never had to change the game volume i always just would like raise my microphone volume in post you know in editing um uh, so something with the biotech dlc they just like boost i guess they just boosted all the sound levels i thought i had my headphones cranked up louder when i was uh cutting up the video originally so apologies for that fortunately the footage for episode one has lost uh to the ether now so there's only what was available um what i mean to say is that that <laughs> that uh that one will never get fixed unfortunately kind of sucks for me but whatever it is what it is we learn from our mistakes right let's make these a little nicer because this poor guy is going to be trapped in that little kitchen there for a long time. 
We should smooth out the floors there too. Um, what else? What else? What else? Yes, thank you guys for joining the channel. Check out the older videos. Join the YouTube. Uh, subscribe to my Twitch. Uh, I'm gonna be doing. I've done some streams in the past. Uh, Twitch.tv backslash Creamy Caesar. Uh, I've done some streams in the past of uh, other games. I'll be probably doing a bunch when Dark Tide comes out later on this month. Looking forward to that. Uh, what other housekeeping things that I want to go over for you folks? Uh, I post an episode of this every day, 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Uh, but on the weekends, I think I'm just going to be doing Cyberpunk like nonstop on the weekends. I want to kind of blow through Cyberpunk 2077. Um, because Dark Tide is coming out and I want to make room and I want to get through Cyberpunk. It's it's a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying the playthrough and I am like maybe 5% <laughs> into the game right now at the beginning. I'm pretty sure I have a long way to go still on that. So yeah, I'm going to try and blast through Cyberpunk on the weekends. So don't be discouraged if you see on Saturdays and Sundays, if there's no RimWorld videos, uh, we'll be back on Mondays. We'll be on Fridays, you know, Monday through Friday. We'll have our Deathcore boys, or if we get wiped out here, we gotta start up some Adeptus Mechanicus or something like that. Can't do any Xeno species still yet. The mods have not been updated, although we do have the enemy Xenos. Uh, so yeah. We'll be looking forward to that. Definitely gonna probably do another orc playthrough once that gets updated. I don't know. There's there's a million. I mean, not a million, but there's there's a bunch of different factions to play. The Drakari was was getting kind of fun. The the fabulous bile when I had set up was very enjoyable too. I got the kitchen's looking nice. We can probably pave the floor in here. What else needs to be done next? Uh, we need to hook this. Excuse me, hook that up. Let's pave the floor. In here, might as well just do that. And we gotta tell the boys to start smoothing some more walls. So we're gonna get some construction. We're gonna start leveling some construction skill, which is fine. Which is fine. Good, we've harvested our first uh, batch of cotton cloth. Fantastic. We need to promote a commissar. Which is maybe Tilly? I believe Tilly has the highest... Is Tilly a woman? Yes, of course Tilly is a woman. Um... I think Tilly has the highest social skill of the bunch. She has a seven, six, and a four. So I think we're gonna make Tilly. Let's change this name here too. Oh, that's the last name. Never mind. Wait, what is this thing? Renounced title. Oh, yeah, she's a, a yeoman. Apparently, I mispronounced it in the last episode or two episodes ago. Y E O M A N. I thought it was a yeoman. <laughs> yeoman. Anyways, cancel that. We don't need to smooth that right now. The deserter. Theodore Muir. A line infantier. What is that? Infantry or a line infantry man? It's calling from nearby. It's deserted. The army of the Red Imperium is being hunted by a loyalty squad. He wishes to join you at Monster's Pit. Theodore knows the location of a key outpost containing everything needed to develop psychic powers. Oh, we don't like psychic powers, but where? If you accept Theodore, you will become an enemy of the Red Imperium. The pursuing loyalty squad will attack immediately. It's a composed of eight troopers. Who is the Red Imperium? These are the 906. All the Cadians are the 906. Oh, okay. These are the Red Imperium. 
I see. Where is Monster's Pit? Did I lose it because I was spinning the world around? It's over here somewhere. I don't know. Okay, so the Shattered Empire is the Red Imperium. Uh, that sounds like an offshoot faction. Do we think we can handle eight? We have seven days to accept this. Yeah, we're not accepting this. Red Imperium, Red Ground, Tilly Rasputin. I'm just gonna call her Tilly Rasputin. The title of Yeoman and the Power of a level one Psy Link in a bestowing ceremony. Mm, no. Oh, she's a corporal. I didn't even realize she's a corporal. Wait, do they all have? Where would it say that? Where would it say that she is a corporal? Mother of Reindeer Tosca of Gala? Father Kurg Headlace? Oh, Imperial Guard Corporal. Oh, Heavy Weapon Specialist, Imperial Guard Field Medic. I've got another Corporal, Heavy Weapon Specialist, an Architect. He's nothing. This kid this is actually a 17 year old. Beta Omicron 45, straight from the vets. Same with this Sigma, Sigma Lambda 95. All these guys with these, like, robotic names, straight from the vets. Pure Guard Sergeant, Sergeant Clanus. Awesome. Uh, yeah, so I think we're gonna make enemies of the Red Imperium. But before we do that. Oh crap, we need to set up Actually, I should have done this before we started paving the floors We should set up Our Choke zone Choke zone. We'll have to destroy this stuff. And we'll do the killing fields over here. So let's just grow. Uh, what do we got? Grass, grass, grass. Actually, we'll just delete this random stuff. We're not going to have to worry about that grass there so I guess we should destroy this should we do this today I feel like this is a late game thing right ancient mechanoid transponder I already read this before but the remains of a massive massive ancient exostrator war mechanoid long ago some high energy weapon shattered the body and fused the parts into an almost solid mass in its guts it looks like there's a still functional transponder if you could extract this transponder you could decrypt it to gather valuable information all right all right let's destroy it right let's give it a shot let's destroy this first Oh my god. Guys? Okay, it's gonna take a couple days. Maybe, we'll just have him go. Fire, 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 fire. Okay. The mechanoid trade spider has been left behind after an explosion. It can be decrypted at a research bench. Fight fire. Fight fire. Fight fire. All right, we got the transponder. Good work. 
Okay. All right. So we're going to get our defenses established. And I think we're also going to put the air conditioning units in. Oh, yeah, we do have the insectoids turned on in this. In the past, I've had them turned off uh, in our 40k playthroughs, but I have them turned on because I believe there's new stuff associated with the insectoids. I keep forgetting, so we have to be a little concerned about having a uh, tunneling event. It can happen. So we should maybe not expand too much into the mountain too quickly. In case, just in case. We have to destroy these ancient mega cannons. Clear all this crap out of the way. Uh, I don't think we can make any turrets just yet. Can't make barbed wire. And we can't make the barricades. We're gonna make the barricades. And oh, we need steel. Surprisingly. All right. All right, just mine that bit there. And let's mine that bit there. Okay, this is done. Let's get that set up. Smooth. So we can hook the power up. Get this rat out of the... Oh, wait, that's our rat. <laughs> that's our rat. Oh, and yes. Somebody had a... Marriage is on. Headlights proposed to... Kanich... I didn't even know. Kanich Tigra. Tigra Kanich agreed, and the two are now engaged. At some point in the coming days or quadrants, they'll have their marriage ceremony. I was going to say, someone had mentioned, yeah, we should get more boomalopes, for sure. To make mortars and such. Also, possibly switch to Kenfield, but I believe our animal skill, we cannot... We cannot tame the boomalopes yet. Not, not an ostrich. We don't want an ostrich. Yeah. Hopefully they self-tame... Oh, he's trying. Wait. They can try? Even if they don't? Oh, I didn't know. I thought they just don't do it. Is that new? All right, he's trying. He's trying his best. Uh, well, we're definitely gonna have to make traps out of stone. Cut stone blocks here. Cut this tree. We aren't psychics. We abhor the psychic. Uh, yeah, we have to make traps out of stone because we have no wood. <laughs> this is all the wood that was on the map. I think we've essentially stripped the map. Cut, cut all the trees, Stan. We're still a long ways away from learning how to sow trees, too. Unfortunately. Inspired recruitment. I'm surprised we haven't had a crash survivor. Or... The only uh, the raid, the only raid we had was the orcs, so. Normally that would have been humans. Vardasaur's refugees. Six desperate, re desperate refugees, including a child, are approaching. Their leader is called Vardasaur. They say they were banished from their town uh, due to moral disagreements. Vardasaur begs you for permission to stay at Monster's Pit for 13 days so they can rest and regroup. In return, they offer to work and fight. Uh, I don't have the beds. <clears throat> Need to, uh, yeah. I'm just thinking about this before. When I was talking about 
expanding. We need to make a new barracks room. Need to make the next barracks. Woman of Revenge. Not lips. Uh oh. Run lips. Who's the closest? Who's close by? Nobody. You too. Lips. Get up here, man. Don't kill Lips, man. He didn't deserve it. Planus. Oh, I gotta set these guys not to flee. Good work. Um, actually, you two finish this thing off. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Finish this off. Good work. Oh, it loses its... Loses its bulbs. Quickly, it's on fire. Planus, you got a second boom loop. Huh? We have a female. We have two females. Okay. We need a male. Did we cut up the boomy, or did it burn? Oh, I think it burned away. This is what it is. We got another one. Look at this guy. Is he in, is he inspired right now? I don't think so. I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing it. And we have a male. All right. So begins our chem fuel production. Do we need any more? Probably not. Don't worry about it, Cleanus. Let's not ride them. That would be dangerous. All right, air conditioners hooked up. Oh, we have to probably fill these in. Yeah. All right, we're gonna get the freezer established. Fantastic. We got a big harvest coming through right now. Perfect timing. Uh, is that made? Oh no. Who's our guy? Who's our guy? Cured, right? Cured. Oh, he's sleeping. All right, we can s probably switch from torches, from torch lamps, and go to. Is this the only standing lamp? Uh, I guess so. We have an outdoors one. Outdoor. Change to dark light. Oh. Oh. We must research advanced lights to change light color. Oh, okay. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Oh, actually, the power we need to extend extend it up here now awesome freezers are freezing uh probably doesn't need to be that low but whatever we got to bring the temperature down uh hopefully don't have to make a double door We shall see. All 
I wish it showed you the range like it does on the torches. I guess we'll go like this. And we'll go like that. And we'll go like that. Oh, and then in here, we'll go like that. Uh, we'll go like that and see how that looks, but we probably need to add a third one. Oh, and throw them in there. All right. Looking good. Looking good. Hopefully we get some baby boom lopes. We're getting a bunch of camp fuel. We got this. Who's our, uh, who's our researcher? I should switch these to priority two. Reared. Decrypt. Ancient transport. You've decrypted an ancient transponder, revealing the location of a mechanoid ship in orbit. The ship is badly damaged, but you can signal it to land nearby. The ship contains the remains of a long dead mechanator. Mechanators can create and control mechanoids for work and combat. By extracting the deceased mechanicer's mech link, you can turn one of your own colonists into a mechanator. Beware, the ship also contains hostile mechanoids. The mechanoid group is composed of two, scorcher, two scorchers and one militor. What is a militor? I've never heard that one before. Two scorchers. I haven't heard of... Those are all new. They must all be brand new. Two scorchers and one militor. Okay. That doesn't... Uh... Oh, good. We need to mine more. Need to mine more steel. Uh, we should probably make a smelterino smelter too. And we'll put another one there. Guys, we need to. This place is disgusting. There's blood and filth on the ground. We need to work. Lips. Can we not leave the flammable liquid out in the grass field, please? <laughs> please, guys. Damn, these guys eat a lot of grass. Uh, should we do change it to tall grass, maybe? Is that better for them? Oh, no. Oh, shit. We actually have, like, no medicine. We need... Five, seven, Beta Omicron. How close are you to leveling up? Oh, he's a ways away. Oh no. Well, that's not great. All right, well, they're putting tall grass in, which these animals will starve for a little bit. And hopefully they don't die from the plague. They're not getting treated with any actual medicine. They're gaining immunity pretty quickly. And they don't have the plague, okay. Beta Omicron, okay. 2K, all right. Yeah, we really need to get medicine going. I'm surprised it doesn't set, because we have 26 regular medicine. But we're not using that on the animals. All right, it's freezing temperatures in here. Fantastic. How's this looking? No progress whatsoever. All right. <laughs> What's wrong, guys? No commissar. Wait, what was that? All right, we need a ritual spot. Wait, what? Is it not a thing anymore? Where's the ritual spot?
Do I just... Do we not do a ri assign roll? Alter, ideogram, or ritual spot? Alter, ideogram, ritual spot. I'm not seeing any of those things here. Oh, it's ideology tab. Oh, oh, it's a whole new button, a whole new tab. Okay. This didn't used to, this wasn't here before, right? There's a biotech one. Yeah, yeah I've seen the biotech one, I'm pretty sure. All right, let's throw the ritual spot down. Begin, Commissar, Tilly. Oh my God, what's with the skulls, guys? Talked about responsibility. Explained improving the colony. Explained her good qualities. Her desire to serve the community. Thoughts on the social structure. Her new role in the community. Her strengths and how to leverage them. Her desire to serve the community. Success. All right, well now she wants Commissar Apparel. So we need to make the Commissar Cap, which we pretty sure we cannot do. Make combat uniform Katachin? Make combat shirt with pants Katachin. Katachin, whatever, however you say it. Kid Romper. Heavy Bandolier. Heavy shoulder belt for keeping spare munitions. It allows quick access to bullets, grenades, arrows, or whatever the user needs. Reducing their weapons range weapons range cooldown due to its bulk. It can't be worn under other clothing. It doesn't cover the bodies, so it can be worn happily by nudists and attacking. What is that? Okay, that's a new thing. Um. Yeah, we can't make the commissar cap. It's gonna be a long time till we can make the commissar cap. This is cool, though. Katachin uh, clothing. We're not Katachin, though. Katachin. However you pronounce it, I'm not sure. Speaking of which, I think we're getting new models of those coming out. The new tank. I saw pictures of the new tank the other day. It looks very cool. The Dorn. The Rogal Dorn. Looks very, very cool. What is this? Oh. Sleeping in the debris. Alrighty, alrighty. What comes next? What comes next? I need these guys to get back to work cutting blocks. I don't know why. I, I have to actually. What we need to do is stop giving them. Uh. Do these turn off because it's daytime? Off during daylight hours. Okay. Very cool. Um, I need to stop giving them work to do so they can finish. And we need the guy. We need somebody to get back on the research bench. And yeah, we need cleaning to get done. Like our plant guys are constantly out here in the field. See, now Tilly's going to have mental breakdowns. My niece, how long, how long? 17 days, minor pain. I uh, can't do anything about this stab scar. Slightly impressive barracks minus two. Come on. Yeah, they're going to do the grass down there. Great. The eclipse has ended. Okay, that's why I was wondering. Like, these turned off, but it was still very dark out. Uh, oh, now that we have cloth, too, we can make... a matching... armchair for the chest table. We're gonna end up putting a light... 
here. Go like this. Shift this over. Oh, good. Smelter's done. Melt metal from slag. I don't know. Do that like 10 times. We're losing. Okay, these aren't going. That's fine. We got plenty stored up. Are you cathartic now? You are. Very good. All right. If we can just get some artwork done to Clay Dot, that would be fantastic. Make the barracks a lot better. That would be nice. What are you doing? Oh, building the wall. We're building the wall, boys. <laughs> we are building the wall. One section at a time. All right, we have some steel. So barbed wire. Uh, I think we're gonna do the barbed wire like this. To destroy this thing. Anime tree has died and emitting and emitted a disturbing psychic scream. Are you guys good? Anima scream. Okay. Silly. Fire. Ah, right, you guys are. You, do you need to be closer? You're you're kind of terrible at this. Okay, never mind. Jesus. All right, barbed wire down. We need to get like five guys, I guess. They are very bad. <laughs> I think the lads guns just don't do a whole lot of damage. Holy shit, guys. It is so dirty in here. Is this animal filth? It is. Okay, we need to... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, well, the rats go in and eat that food, right? The rats don't eat grass. They eat this kind of stuff. Uh, all right. Get rid of the rats. Yeah, get the rats out of here. Which are the rats? They're making it disgusting in here. We can't be having that. Why headlights? Was one of those rats? Oh no. You got the anima scream and your grandchild died. Okay. Well, your grandchild put up a valiant effort. I do apologize. She got killed by the orcs. If you didn't see the last episode, their grandchild was in a caravan. The bulk tree or caravan that arrived. Apparently. And we got invaded by we got raided by orcs. And uh, primitive orcs too, by the way. Not, they didn't have guns. They just had like choppers and bows and arrows. And somehow their grandchild of all the people in the caravan that died, it was their grandchild. <sighs> now these people are having a breakdown. Can we move the chess table, please? Lips. Oh, Lips is bringing in the explosive liquid. That's fine. Good. This floor is getting finished, which means the wall will move faster. Good. And hopefully we get cleaned up here. All right. We got nice comfy chairs with our, like we got this rhinoceros leather armchair with our slate chest table. Oh, holy shit, man. Holy shit. Clean this room up. What? Why is there vomit in this room? Do you have food poisoning? Holy crap, this guy is decked. This guy is chromed out. Straight out of cyberpunk. Aesthetic nose. 
Nuclear stomach. What is field hand? Plant work speed plus 160%. Holy crap. I didn't. Is anybody else? Creared. Beta Omicron. 95. Okay. Holy cow. These guys are decked out. All right, nice. Now the barracks is nice. Now the things are nice and clean. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clean this out. We got to get to work on this too very soon. Put some beds in. Carving blocks. Fantastic. Here's a slate sculpture with looks like some skulls. Fantastic. That's what we need. Kuzel's Mechanoids. Kuzel. High Stellarch of the Red Imperium. Now we're gonna... Oh, wait. What? Well, what? It's making a request. A Mechanoid Swarm has been attacking his settlements. He wants you to signal the mechs to distract them while he clears the hive. If you do, a Mechanoid Cluster will land at Monster's Pit. The Mechanoid Cluster will be initially dormant. It may have a countdown activator or it may stay dormant forever until disturbed. This is a jump pack. Mark 7 Mars pattern. I believe Blood Angels. And this is a regular, F I believe FA is Fallen Angels, but it's like Dark Angels. It's like, I think Fallen Angels is like a custom uh, Space Marine chapter that the guy put in. Wow. How is this valued at 2400? And their masterwork. What, what does this even do? Backpack has the primary power core for space marine armor as well as reserve cells and an emergency solar collector. So what would this do? Utility slot. It does nothing. That does nothing. This on the other hand, reload cost per jump, 10 chem fuel. Oh wow. Warp tainted. Wait, what? Warp tainted machining table? So this is a chaos? No. What is BA? What? Oh, why are you fighting? Motherfuckers. What is, um. What Chaos Space Marine group is BA? I'm trying to think. There's Word Bearers. There's Emperor's Children. There's Death Guard. There's, uh, who are the ones with the lightning claws that are, like, blue with the lightning bolts? Scary, very scary dudes. Uh, Night Lords. World Eaters. Who is B.A.? B.A. is Blood Angels. I moved. The mod is just messed up. That one little thing. Oh, please, please learn to sow trees. We could make a cocoa tree too, and then make some chocolate. I'm sure the folks would appreciate some chocolate. Oh, our art, it's got installed. Jawline, Tilly Rasputin. This piece is shaped like Harv Tilly Rasputin, stumbling around with a completely broken expression on her face. Seemingly without reason. She looks happy and sad at the same time. The image contrasts sympathy with oppression. Unusually, for this kind of work, the image is bordered by seven sheriffs? This image tells the story of Tilly Rasputin giving up in despair on the 2nd of Jugus 5500. Wow. Deep. Deep. Oh no, we gotta... Bad batch of food here somewhere. It's not even dirty in here. Come on, man. Nobody else should be coming in this room. I wish there was a way. Is there a way you can put a zone down? Like a cleaning zone? Doesn't need an area where Connus will manually clean polluted terrain. 
now. Like a, um... Like a priority cleaning zone, you know what I mean? I don't think that's a thing you could do, but like... Yeah. We can't put s sterile tiles down. You know what I mean? I guess we could do... It's concrete? It's a lot of builds. Yeah, I mean, none of those are good. Now these guys are gonna go through a bout of food poisoning. There's a batch of food that's no good. Oh, they're getting it on. I saw that. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, yeah, she pregnant. Malnutrition? What? Eat. The grass is grown, man. You can eat this grass. Seems like they don't eat as much as the, of the tall grass. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm just making it up in my mind, but it seems like the tall grass does not get eaten as quickly as the short grass does. All right, we need to smooth orders. Smooth. Is painting new too? I don't remember ever seeing painting. Paint building. Paint floor. Die from tinctoria plants, which you can grow. Okay, so we can't even do this. Never mind. Royal scent. You've learned a way to escape the plant. High stellar. Yeah, we're gonna fight the red imperium. No, 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 no. The red imperium are traitors to the imperium of man. That's why we're on this planet. We're also on this planet because if you guys didn't know this planet, the seed for the game and all games that we've played so far is Armageddon. The Armageddon. Where the great battles against the Greenskins taking place. So we're here to kill the Greenskins. We're here to kill the Red Imperium. We may or may not be traitors to the Imperium of Mankind. I believe they are. I believe they've established their own society outside of the laws of the Imperium of Man. And they need to be wiped. They need to be wiped from the face of this planet. Where is our... Where is our colony? Am I crazy? It's like... If I go like this... Oh, uh, no. How? Where? Where is our colony? <laughs> where are we? How do I... How do I... Wait, what? How do I focus back on our base again? All right, we'll figure it out. Somebody let me know in the comments. Is this us? Oh, it is. Okay, never mind. I found this. <laughs> okay, this is us. What's nearby? Got a bunch of work sites here. These are just normal. These are just normal humans. Oh, we got some orcs. We got Wa number 13. The wicked mob of Mork. We also have a red Imperium. We got Wa, and we have guard post number two, wicked mob of Mork. Alright, we're gonna have to fight those orcs. We're gonna have to gear up. We'll have to make some more food. It's uh, quite a distance. 
Okay, not that much food. Let's get a hundred. Let's get a hundred going. Uh, who was our planter? Are you almost there? He's not even halfway to eight yet. Okay. We need to get heal root going, man. We are hurting. We are hurting for some heal root. Wait, wait, wait. We just added a... Oh, this is from the MIM. Hold on, hold on. This is not. This is from the Magos... Uh... This is from the Magos mods. This is from the Astro Militar mod. This is from the Adeptus Mechanicus. Uh, Magos Xenobiology mod. Yeah, War Crimes. Necron Research. This is from the MIM. Wait, what? An inactive Canoptic Scarab Swarm. Yeah, MIM one Warhammer 40k factions. Necron Smelter? Wait, it's... I can't... Oh. Okay, it's like I can't scroll down. Gateway to the Tomb Citadel? Necron production? What a cryptic often accomplishes with their technology is nothing short of... Can we have a Necron playthrough now that I've added this mod pack? Necron warrior? An inactive Necron warrior. Flayed ones. This is all new. What is this? Battle sister most basic rank. Bolt gun. Gear of the outcast sister repentious suit. Orders hospi hospitaler. Gears. This looks like they're weapons and stuff. Okay. Gene seed. Wow. Gene seed is less than Less research than tree sowing. That doesn't make sense. Okay, but but you can also find gene seeds in another section. You can find gene seed over here somewhere. Um, so we we got to it in our in our. Uh, where is it? We got to it in our... I'm sorry. I keep getting caught up. Stardust power armor. Yeah, see, this gets like all the, all the second black carapace. This is all the other stuff they Stardust have. We got to it in our Fabius bio playthrough. Like, we could create gene seeds, but it was like an incredible amount of... You need like 10,000 silver or some ridiculous amount of material. So there's a way to get to it in this. That's kind of the problem with mixing all these different Warhammer 40k mod packs. Is you get all of these different... What is this? This is the Inquisition Grey Knight. Ooh, no way. There's nothing here. There's nothing here, though. It's because it's put up another mod pack. Same with Death Watch. Death Watch would be cool. Space Marines are kind of mad because they're super duper powered. Okay. Yeah, that's the problem with like mixing all these mod packs. I mean, I want like, you know, you want all the cool items and cool textures and all the different aliens and stuff like that. Um, but then you get like a million research trees that are, they kind of all do the same thing. Some of them are better, some of them are, are worse. Like, actually, I'll be honest with you. Like, this stuff is better because this will be made at, at like, Fabrication Bench. Whereas on this one, 
Oh my, this is actually the worst one. Because you do, the, you do basic Imperial construction. And then you get... How many do you get like two or three fabrication? You get two or three benches, production benches from this. And then you get where's the where's the next one? Yeah, you get this shit. There's literally in this whole section, because we went through a bunch of it in the fab fabulous bile one. There's like a ten different production benches. You have to put down and then all it uses like specialized warhammer 40k materials that you have to <clears throat> combine uh you know components with ceramite and adamantium or blah 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 refined ceramite refined adamantium and a bunch of other crap it's very annoying i'll be honest just honestly it's just like just let me make them at you know, let me make the stuff at a smithing table. Let me make the stuff at the fabrication bench. Jack up, jack up the research, you know, the, the number of research points. Sure, that's fine. Like Imperial, like Astartes armor. Yeah, 10,000. Yeah, sure. That makes complete sense. Did we get, did we get a baby bloom? Is this guy part of our thing here? Get the fuck out of here, iguana. Do we have a baby boomalo? No, we just got two pregnant boomalos. All right, this guy's getting it on. Mad ostrich. Oh, I meant to set them all to attack, and let's change all that. What is this? Ace liner. Uh, you got a gun. Fire. What are you doing? Oh, you can't shoot him yet. Kill this fucking ostrich, man. You can't hit anything. You're like stormtroopers from Star Wars. You guys are the worst. All right, guys. That's going to be the end of this episode, I think. We made some more good progress. We got the freezer established. We got some more production set up. We've got electricity flowing throughout the base now with the batteries going. We got some more boomalopes and they're mating, which is good. We got the transponder. We're setting up our security fence. We're building the wall to keep out the Xenos. <laughs> uh, we have to build some barricades and sandbags and whatnot though still. And obviously finish the wall. We're doing good. Soon enough, we're going to send the squad out. Maybe not. Uh, we, I have to see. I want to get the growing. I want to get into... Yeah, Xenogenetic. Where is the... Uh, fertility procedures. Growth fats. Transport pods. Transport pods would be very good. And then growth fats. So that's what we got to get to, actually. We need to get the growth fats set up. So we can just be pumping out soldiers. So then we can send squads out to their death. And, and uh, yeah. So hopefully soon enough. We will get to that. We've stabilized as a base. Just a lot of uh, daily things to take care of. The guys are getting to crafting, which is good. And there looks like they're sitting at the research bench more and more, which is good. So, anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Check back in tomorrow for the next one. I hope you guys have a great evening. Please like the video. Subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, just uh, follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Caesar. I'll be doing uh, Cyberpunk 2077 over the weekend. I don't stream often, uh, but, um, you know, when I do, hop in, say hello. I would very much appreciate it. Leave me a comment down below here, guys. Love you all very much. I hope you have a great night. I will see you all tomorrow.